Hey guys, what's up? This is Joe from s and Videos. Um, if you used to watch me on Fuzzy Clay, you'll know that I did a review of my Canon camera. Uh, if you want to see that, check out the video response or the link in the sidebar, whichever way it is. Um, and I told you guys that I'd do a review of a lens if I got one. So, here it is. I got the uh, Tamron AF 28-300mm to lens. Alright, so the lens itself is about this big one, so that's on the camera. Um, it's a lot heavier, if you have one of these uh, cameras, a Rebel XTI, uh, it's a lot heavier than the lens it came with, um, but it's well worth it. The lens itself comes with the lens cap and the lens hood. Uh, the lens cap is easy to take off, you just press down and press in. One thing I like about it is it has little things in the middle, so that way uh, if the lens hood is on, and you'll see that in a minute, you can just press on them rather than have to press on the outside. Um, like I said, the other thing that comes with it is the lens hood. Um, now you can see how it is now. Uh, it's really nice for storage if you have a small camera bag because you can put it in here and just twist it on and it sits on backwards. But it's really supposed to go like this. It's easy. It's just a one, uh, one twist motion and the lens hood is on. Okay. Uh, like I said, this lens is 20 to 300 millimeters. Uh, it's extremely nice for, uh, for taking pictures far away. Uh, you can see this is at 20, uh, 28 millimeters. This is at 300. You can see how much it extends. Um, it takes great quality pictures. I mean, that's not a big deal at all. Um, it looks great when you're looking through it. It has all the same, um, you know if you have one of these cameras, how the original camera came with the viewpoints, the little squares. Well, this has the exact same thing, so it works very nicely with your camera. One of the other nice settings on this camera, uh, just like the other camera, it has a autofocus and manual focus, which is located right up here. You just uh, flip it on and off. Um, the one difference here is uh, on this camera, the if you do it on manual focus on the lens it comes with the camera it uh, has a little one at the end this it has a nice big one like this which i actually like a lot more than the uh, lens the camera came with the other nice settings this camera has is vibration control and uh it, you can turn it on or off but i really don't see why you'd want to turn it off because with the lens as heavy as this one is um when you're focus when you're trying to focus on something it's hard to keep it steady because it's as heavy so that, that vibration control, when it snaps the shutter, it, it keeps it uh, still. Or it, it keeps the image still, so you don't see as much vibration. Especially when you're on manual and you don't have the flash, that helps a lot. Um, now, of course, if you're zoomed all the way and you don't have the flash, you're still going to need the tripod, but that's just kind of a rule of thumb there. Um, this lens has some other neat features. It has a lock mechanism, but I really don't understand how it works because it can only lock it in one place. Um, maybe there's a secret... Uh, you know, I'm just secret on how to use it, but it can only lock it on the 28 millimeter place, and I would like it to be able to uh, lock it anywhere that you can, but that's just how the lens is made. As are all other lenses, it's, it's extremely easy to take off. You just pull that, twist it, and pull. Um, and then to put it back on, you just put it on, match up the red dots, pull that in, put it like that, and there you go. It's on fun. Now, like I said, I, uh, the main reason I love this lens, the main reason I wanted it, is to be able to take shots from farther away. Um, I had this situation once where I'm, I'm driving along and there's all these ducks on this creek, okay? And, I, and they, uh, it, was, it was a beautiful day, the creek was beautiful, the ducks were beautiful. I just wanted to take a picture of it. So I get out with this camera and my other lens, which only goes up to 55 millimeters, and I tried to take the picture and the ducks turned out being, you know, that big on the, on the picture. Whereas this, I could zoom in on just one duck, and it would take an excellent picture. Um, but just to give you a little more of an example, let me uh, show you here what it will look like. Well, it's hard for you guys to see, but there is actually a turn sign up there. Um, right about there. You can see that turn sign. So to show you how good this lens is, I'm going to do a little comparison. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the lens to what the old lens, the maximum of that was, which was 55. So right here I have it set on just about 55. As close as I can get on this camera, I'm not sure exactly. I'm going to take a picture of it. Okay, so that's how that picture looks. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend it all the way to 300 millimeters and take a picture. Now you be the judge. Uh, I paid about $620 for this lens, um, but it, it's well worth it because the Canon equivalent of this lens is, I think, about $1,000. So 
Uh, it's a beautiful lens. I got it for the Canon camera. I believe you can also get it for Nikon. And I don't know about Sony, but I think you might be able to. Um, it's, I'd give it a 5 out of 5, and I would recommend it to anybody out there who wants to take really good shots from fairly far away. Alright, thanks for watching. And remember, comment, rate, and subscribe. See ya.